Hi, this is Elias Nikolakopoulos and Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovation Foundation, presenting case 82 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case illustrating some of the challenges with the DK crush technique for coronary bifurcations. The patient had previous coronary bypass graft and a mechanical aortic valve and presented with an honesty elevation of myocardial infarction. Because of advanced CKD, he had first a stress test that showed anterior ischemia and he was referred for coronary angiography. He did have left bundle branch block on the EKG. Getting access was challenging for this patient. The micropuncture wire was inserted in the common femoral artery. However, there was resistance to advancing the micropuncture dilator. And this is a scenario where actually performing fluoroscopy can be very useful to demonstrate this problem, which is kinking of the guide wire in the subcutaneous tissue. If this is not appreciated and one attempts to further advance it, that can actually lead to bleeding and loss of access in the vessel. So the way to, that this was managed is by inserting only the inner dilator of the micropuncture kit into the common femoral artery after which uh, a six French radial sheath was inserted and then this was changed for a longer sheath using a stiff amplet super stiff guide wire. Diagnostic angiography did show a significant lesion in the middle AD at the distal edge of a previous stand and at the bifurcation of a fairly sizable diagonal branch. The right coronary artery had some diffuse disease, but it was patent as was an SVG to the PDA that were both unchanged compared with the previous angiogram. Therefore, the plan was to perform PCI of the LAD. And the key questions to be asked for every bifurcation lesion PCI is first, whether the side branch needs to be preserved, and second, what's the likelihood of side branch occlusion? In this particular case, the answer about preservation is definitely yes, this is a large branch. And about the likelihood of side branch occlusion, this is hard to tell. There doesn't seem to be much disease at the origin of the side branch. Um, however, the angulation is a little narrow as well. And in this particular case, we inserted a guide wire into the side branch, it was a pressure wire, predilated the LAD, and then did uh, a pressure measurement, PDPA, which was uh, 0 0.8 after the LAD pretilatation. And although this is obviously not uh, the optimal test, uh, because uh, the positive uh, PDPA with a cutoff of 0 0.91 could be due to residual disease in the LAD, nevertheless, a decision was made to do two stent uh, stenting. And that uh, was planned to be done with the DK crust technique that has the strongest data. DK Cross does have uh, 17 discrete steps described in a separate video, and all those steps were applied one by one. Predilatation of the side branch was uneventful. A drug gluten stand was placed in the diagonal, protruding back into the LAD. At the same time, we did have uh, a balloon in the LAD ready to cross that portion of the diagonal stand. But before we do that, we want to make sure that the side branch the diagonal has good flow and there is no need for placing additional stents or doing anything else, because that could be actually challenging after the proximal portion of the stent is crossed. After this was confirmed, then the LAD balloon was inflated, crushing the protruding portion of the diagonal stent into the LAD. And then the next step is to rewire the side branch and remove the jailed side branch wire. And this step ended up being challenging. A workhorse um, wire did not uh, succeed in entering the diagonal branch. And the way around this is to use a polymer jacket wire, such as the C on black, which was used in this case, or sometimes use a microcatheter that can support the wire, either a regular microcatheter or a dual lumen one that can help also prevent the wire from getting under the stent stretch. After the, wire, the diagonal was rewired, then uh, the jailed wire was removed. 
And then the next step is to deliver a balloon and to perform um, the first kissing inflation. But unfortunately, the balloons would not cross into the diagonal branch. And the way around this is to try smaller balloons. 2.0, 1.5 millimeter were tried and did not succeed. And then try an even smaller balloon, and the 1.0 Sapphire Pro is the lowest profile balloon in the US right now, and that's preferred. And actually, this did work in this particular case. If this didn't work, the other option would have been to take another wire and rewire, because sometimes the course of the wire is uh, through uh, multiple layers of the stand struts, and that may be the reason why delivering a balloon in the side branch is challenging. After this, the first kissing balloon inflation was performed, followed by insertion of a stand into the main vessel, the LED. The stand um, was uh, positioned and deployed, followed by the proximal optimization technique with a short balloon, followed by the second kiss, which uh, requires rewiring. A nice tip is to first uh, try to use a loop a knuckle of the wire to avoid getting under the stand struts and then the Sion Black once again successfully recrossed into the diagonal branch. Now many people don't like to leave uh, the wire jailed after the side branch stand has been placed. However, uh, in our case we did it, we did it routinely and we have not had any issues with that problem. The gel wire was removed and then the second kissing balloon inflation was performed. This time it was actually easier to advance balloons in both uh, the main vessel as well as the side branch, the diagonal. After um, kissing balloon inflation, we did have uh, a nice final result with a TIMI 3 flow in both the LED as well as the diagonal branch. So this case uh, demonstrates some interesting findings. One is that if there is a kinking of the micropuncture wire, it is important to realize this and avoid losing access and exposing the patient to high bleeding risk. And one way to do this is by inserting a stiff 0.018 inch wire, such as the Platinum Plus, and then switch for a long sheath over a stiff wire. Second lesson is about uh, how to approach difficulty rewiring through the struts of the crushed side branch stand. And uh, that, in our case, was done using a polymer jacketed guide wire, the Sion Black. Another option would be to use a microcatheter. And the third one is what to do if there is a difficulty advancing a balloon in the side branch. And uh, the options are to try low profile balloons, with the Sapphire Pro 1.0 being the lowest profile currently in the US. Or um, if this doesn't work, then rewire and try it again. Thank you.